Wow, Mzansi, only in South Africa do you murder someone and then turn it into a money-making machine and do a documentary. Yikes. Now, Cindy C. Mangala's interview on podcast and chill left a very bitter taste on people's tongues. I mean, mine as well. Let me tell the truth. She spoke about Flabber's murder in bits and pieces, but promised that she would speak in more details in her documentary. Mzansi, yikes. Hey, hey, Mzansi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News, Mzansi. If you're new to my channel, you know you're here for the stories go ahead click the subscribe button and of course zanzi the bell and you'll never miss an update i'm angry at my dad and i think i've just realized i'm angry at my dad in the past years and i realized that i'm not not sure how to forgive my dad for the journey of um you know letting go of this um certain emotions that i feel every time i speak about my dad um i remember there was a time when Come together. So Listen to the melody, cause my love is in that Hey guys. Garden. Now, Zansi, before we get into the story of uh, Flubber's killer girlfriend, who's now turning into a, a hero, um, let me tell you, that clip was from my new personal channel called The Lelo N, and I have just started a podcast there called The Lelo N Podcast. And uh, yes, we do talk about everything, and we are still going to be talking about everything and anything under the sun, and I would love for you guys to join me there, because your support on this channel has been like so amazing, and if it could be reciprocated there, I would really, really appreciate it. I love you guys. And I really, really appreciate your support. And it's officially a road to 100K subscribers. Now let's get to today's story. I'm Zansi. When asked about the murder by the host, McG and Soul Penduga, she hesitated to divulge any info and said she would speak about it in detail. I'm going to talk about it in the documentary. I told you we were drunk and tempers were high. We had gone out and we were intoxicated. And there was a bit of jealous here and there from his side. You know, like these drunk fights it just escalated and things were said we were saying horrible things to each other it ended up just uh it took a wrong turn she said what happened that night we were we were drunk right okay and tempers were high mm. it there was a little okay we had we had gone out we got intoxicated sure sure, sure. and there was a bit of jealousy here and there and from uh, whose side mm. from his side okay gotcha yeah and um we just got you know like these drunk fights that yes i will have them bro yeah, yeah and then yeah. it just escalated and because things were said and nami na yeah you know we were saying horrible things to each other and um yeah it it ended up just he took the wrong turn and i so did you did you stab him though yeah i, I stabbed him damn where sure. where um the chest. Ooh. Like once or more than once? Once. Oh, you did once. Mm. So this was a mistake? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Now, Flabber's family is not at all impressed by this, and so they slammed her in an interview with City Press, allegedly. Now, his brother, Tsabang, told the publication that they know nothing about this documentary, and they last spoke to Cindy Sewer when she got released. Now, we were not informed of any documentary. We found out that podcast, like everyone else, we had not been approached about any documentary, and we had not been in contact with her since she was released on parole. He then clearly stated that the earnings from his documentary should go to his children. I don't want Want to hear anything about this documentary they're doing but if they want to use Ngudilego's name they must make sure that the money goes to his children and then we'll pay attention to them for now we know nothing about this documentary i only heard about it when my mother showed me a link now if cindy siwa is going to make a lot of money from my brother's name she must just not forget about his children now in an interview with sunday world flubber's mother said cindy siwa tried to make things right between them cindy invited me to sun city about two years ago saying she wanted to ask for forgiveness and she had invited cameras to document our conversation like really and this is when i said no to any documentation now not then and not in future until she comes clean about what really happened she said we went on heart to heart without the cameras and i specifically asked her what kind of a person Gulega was and she said he was a loving and nurturing person and that she was telling me that because the lawyer had told her what to say in court now that is why i insist she should tell the truth about the night she killed my son if anyone was in a 
better position to tell the story of Nkululego, it is myself because I have known him from birth and I know his character. He was not a fighter. Neither would he shout at a person. I just wonder what she is planning to say about my son without my concern. Uh, knowing that I rejected the documentary idea from the onset, even I don't want to do a documentary on Gurilo because this story hurts me so much. I have been through so much in and out of hospitals to date. Cindy was always obsessed with Nkululego and my neighbors would highlight this. After hearing the news of the of his murder, I thought of this and this is why I say she should tell me the truth as his mother and not want to surprise me in this documentary, she said. Now there you have it, Mzansi. Cindy Sio Mangala is apparently allegedly going to be doing a documentary, I mean, about the murder of um you know flubber and now she's gonna be turning into a hero now she's a motivational speaker da, 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 da. i mean we all make mistakes i mean i heard that um i heard when um you know um mcgee asks so i mean we all make mistakes uh have you ever made a mistake like that so penduga blatantly said no uh, and all my girlfriends I, I, I date, uh, even if we fight, it does not get physical. I don't care how drunk you are. People get drunk. You don't pick up a knife and stab someone and it's a mistake. And then you come back and it's a documentary. The fact is they're gone. They're not coming back. So no, it's a no for me. I don't know about you guys. This is just my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. You know, I love to hear from you. But for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hot. Adjust the way you like it.